Select Jog Mode and Machine Area. There will be shown the following information on the machine screen. The Active Operating Area, which at the moment is the Machine Area. The Active Mode of the Control, which is Jog Mode. Time and Date. The Loaded Program. The status indication of the machine. It is in reset mode. The active program control modes. The axis data with the position of X, Y and Z. The technology data which is tool, feed and spindle data. The operating window and information line. There are eight vertical and eight horizontal soft keys on the screen. There are two arrows as well. They will be used in the video for navigating around the control. The arrow up is a return soft key and the arrow right is an extension to the horizontal soft keys if available. There is a USB port on the left hand side of the controller. You can, for example, transfer program files from one controller to another. At the top of the controller, there are three LED status lights for power supply, ready for operation, and temperature of the control. On the right-hand side of the controller, you can see the keyboard. This has all the most common character buttons. By using the shift button and a specific button on the keyboard, you can use the small characters at the top left corner. Also, delete and backspace are used for deleting and the input button enters information or opens files. Below the keyboard, you can see the operating area navigation buttons of the controller. For program navigation, you will often use the blue arrow buttons with its select button in the middle. The six buttons on the right are the main operating areas of the control. These will take you directly to the respective areas with just one button press. Now we turn to the machine control panel. On the left hand side you will see the emergency stop button, which you only use in an emergency. To the right there is a number in the digital display. It shows the active tool from the tool management of the controller. Below, there is the mode navigation of the controller. You can use hand wheel, jog mode, reference point mode, auto mode, single block, and MDA mode. Further descriptions will be covered later. The darker gray buttons activate and deactivate further functions. If the lamp is active, with program test, the axes are locked. M01, the machine is in optional stop mode, and ROV, the feed rate rotary potentiometer, is activated for rapid movement. On the right, you will see 12 buttons which are made for individual functions by the machine manufacturer. For example, activating or deactivating of the coolant. The next important keys are the direction arrows of the X, Y, and Z. When you hold the middle rapid button and a direction of the axis will move in rapid mode. Below there are three keys. You use them for moving the axis in a defined length which is 1 micron, 10 micron and 100 micron. Finally there are two override rotary potentiometers. The first one is to influence the spindle speed and the second is to influence the feed rate. The buttons below are on the left side to select the direction of the spindle rotation and on the right side to either reset, stop or start the active program.